What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to another Football Manager 2021 video. Today we're going to be running through one of the four headline feature blogs released by Football Manager over on their website. Yes, if you didn't know, uh, over on the Football Manager website they've announced all their headline features in nice nitty gritty detail, lots of examples, lots of good stuff and over the next few days we're going to be breaking down each blog in its own separate video. Uh, I did originally intend to do this as one long video it was going to run to over an hour long. So with that in mind, so that I'm not feeling like I have to rush through any specific things, I want to give you all my thoughts, feelings, opinions for each of these blogs kind of in its own standalone video. If you are new to the channel, do make sure to hit the subscribe button. As I said, we've got three more of these videos where we're going to cover match days, end of season stuff and recruitment. And uh, of course, we're going to have football manager content here between now and and of course release and beyond release until FM22 because that's what we do here we play football manager on the regularly so anyway today we're talking about the interaction stuff which is something that I am cautiously optimistic about I'm sure like many of you I don't do press conferences I, there's a lot of talk about press conferences I don't do them I do do the interaction ones with players but perhaps not as you know often as I should and I'm certainly someone who when it comes to kind of team talks team meetings I just go for the passionate, I've got faith in you every day of the week, which from the looks of things, I'm not going to be able to do this year. So sadly for me, it's time to adapt and overcome. And uh, well, we've got lots of new details in this blog post. So here we are, interactions in Football Manager 2021. And you can see there is going to be a significant overhaul to the interaction system that puts you right in the middle of your football club with the tools needed to make a difference. The ways that you communicate with your players and the media have changed considerably and will have more of an impact across the whole game. Now, this is a massive point for me especially with all the press conference stuff they're talking about. I just send my assistant to do my press conferences. I just I send the assistant to do it or just have him assigned to do them, um, depending on how pretty my assistant manager is. I mean, when your assistant manager is Tony Adams, I quite enjoy every week getting his little face pop up, asking if he wants to, me to attend the press conferences or if he should go. However, sadly for us, that's changed this year, as we will come on to, because press officers and now a thing potentially a new staff role but yeah we'll talk about that more in a second let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves but i'm really hoping with, the, with press conferences and indeed all chats this year it's a lot more immediately obvious the impact of what you're saying you know if you do a team talk or you praise a player you see that morale go up you see that happiness go up whereas with press conferences there's always been a bit of mystery about it it's not immediately obvious necessarily the effect with a lot of the different media questions that you'd answer you know what's actually happening very curious to see how that might be kind of covered in fm 2021 so as it says here you'll feel more in control of the interactions you're involved with with more tools at your disposal to get your point across understand where others are coming from and communicate more effectively whether you're in one-to-one -one discussion a team meeting or a press conference yes interesting stuff here there is chance that you do about say a player's playing time where their agent is going to turn up this year yeah it's not all it's not all one-to-one -one. you can't corner a player and ask them to sack their agent at least i i mean you probably still can but if the agent sat across the room from you it's going to be a little bit more awkward anyway as you can see here they've talked about the fact they've worked with real football coaches managers and agents to try and develop this stuff and make it as realistic as possible and there are new interactions and improvements to the existing ones um, however, there are going to be some familiar answers. If if you've memorized all the correct press conference questions, maybe some of that memory and some of that kind of you know information you've retained will be useful. So anyway, the first thing to talk about is the gestures system, and we've got a lovely screenshot here of a quick chat that the manager is happening is having a uh, SE Freiburg between Philip Leinhardt and themselves, and you can see that this year in Football Manager you have this quick chat pop up. So rather than navigate through loads of screens to chat to a player um, it looks like you are going to be able to quickly nip in with just a pop out window and in a matter of a few seconds praise a player which I think is a really really good change because I don't know about you but besides maybe praising players trainings a few times a year and if a player gets a hat trick giving them a pat on the back certainly an area of the game which I wouldn't use on a day-to-day -day basis like I think you probably should if you're trying to play the game as seriously as possible. So as it says here, they've waved goodbye to the previous systems and in their place, welcome gestures. So yes, gestures are instead of tone of voice, 
You get to show it with your body, everyone. And it's uh, going to be, hopefully, a change for the better. Although, you know, I'm, I'm still upset that passionate I have faith for you isn't going to work anymore every press conferences. So as you see here, we have different gestures to choose from depending on the situation you're in, whether you're heading into a positive or negative interaction. So if you're giving a team talk, you'll have a whole host of expressive and emotive gestures that are designed to motivate and prompt reaction from your players. But you can you can throw a bottle. That's something they've they've announced that you can throw a water bottle across the room. It's a next next gen exp woo woo next gen. Okay. Anyway, you can see here in more public situations, you'll probably want to be more restrained. Don't throw water bottles at journalists, folks. Um, so the gestures available in press conferences and interviews will mostly reflect appropriate <laughs> appropriate managerial behaviour. That's a shame. I'm sure there's many football managers in real life who wish they could throw stuff at journalists. So gestures give you more control over the relationships you want to build in games. So if you're a manager who likes to utilise the media, listen up. Media darlings can use gestures to show that you're both animated and interested in a journalist's question. Likewise, if you'd rather keep the press at arm's reach uh, or at arm's length, then simply choose from the more abrasive gestures to make it clear you'd rather be anywhere than in the press room. This is really interesting, and we'll talk more about this with the press conferences stuff, but it seems like in the same way you have a relationship with your board or with your players or with a player's agents, you are going to be able to have relationships with the journalists. You know, in, in real life, there are I'm sure there are journalists who don't like a particular football manager, maybe because of a past experience or whatever. And certainly, you know, journalists like to twist the truth. They like to use quotes out of context to say something else. And at the moment in Football Manager, when you give an answer, it's quite matter of fact. That's, that is the answer. Whereas it'd be very interesting if going into this year's Football Manager, if based on the relationship you have with a journalist, the response that you give might not work all the time. It might not just be 100% effectiveness. Because certain journalists, if they get a hold of them, might just take it a little out of context. Anyway, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. We will talk about the press conferences in details. So the gestures you choose not only prompt a reaction from the people gathered in the room, that's much more noticeable than ever before, but also influence how what you've said is then received by those in attendance, just like real life behaviour. Um, sorry, just like in real life, your behaviour is as important as the things you say. So it seems like... You <laughs> It's, it seems to me like gestures matter almost as much as the answers that you give and that it might influence a, a, and there might be an answer that would or a reply that you give that would might be negative in one context but if you open up by maybe giving a player a hug that kind of conversation takes on a whole new meaning i'm hoping there's gonna be a bit of a juggling act there and that based on the relationships you have with players and the body language used and previous interactions there's kind of a more significant deviation at the moment in football manager it feels like there's like an option that works and an option that doesn't work right no matter what whereas it'd be interesting if based on the the context of the conversation the player you're with you know those answers effectiveness and just what happens as a result of them was a little bit different Anyway, we come on to quick chats here, which as I already mentioned is this new pop-out window, which I really, really like. Um, you have the ability to have a chat with a player um, through this pop-up, be them at the club or away from the club. It doesn't seem too drastically different from what we've had before, just slightly more accessible, slightly more quicker. If Football Manager saved me clicking on a whole new screen across an entire Football Manager, they are saving me hours of my time because I play this game for far too long as it says here quick chats replicate the sort of short informal interactions that you don't need a full meeting or press conference for so there are still chats that you'll have with players that are a bit more serious we'll come on to that shortly but if you just want to tell a player yeah you're doing well in training or uh, you know you're representing the club well that you could do that in the dressing room very quickly we don't need an agent in attendance we don't need a director of football in attendance um you know it's kind of a passing in a corridor kind of conversation which I kind of like the idea of kind of separating the, the types of interaction and the severity a little bit more because at the moment they're all just the same and it does just get a little bit repetitive. So for example, you might have a remote quick chat with a journalist who is trying to get the inside story on a transfer rumour surrounding your club um, and you'll have an in-person quick chat with a player to praise them for how they've been performing in training um, or if you want to ask them actively to search for a new club. So that's the kind of thing you might use the remote quick chat for. I'm hoping that there's a few more interactions with players out on loans. Um, at the moment with a player out on loan, you can kind of say, you're doing great or you need to improve more if you want to play here. 
I'd love to be able to, in the same way you can ask a player for recommendations about a staff role or a player role, you know, do you know any good midfielders? Uh, rather than just having that, for a player out on loan, I'd love to be able to ask them, you know, in January, halfway through their loan spell, is this a good loan spell for you? Would Do you feel like you're, you'd benefit from a different club or coming back from loan? I think there's a few more options that could definitely be added in there. It's kind of... Um, make you feel a little bit more connected with players away from the club that you're managing. So as you can see here, in previous games, all interactions took place in a separate space away from the screen you were looking at. But quick chats play take place in a window that overlays the current in-game screen that you're on. Quick chats can take place with players who are out on loan. We've talked about this already. Again, talking about the idea that maybe we could add a bit more chatting options when it comes to players out on loan. And you can see here, you'll be prompted to start a quick chat in relevant news items, but you can also, also initiate them with any of your players at any time through the discuss menu on the player's profile. So I guess if players perform well in training, like in previous years, you'll be able to, you know, really quickly praise a player's training from that screen, which does already exist, but you know what? it's a quality of life change that you don't have to go to a whole new screen now anyway we come on to press conferences here which have this super sexy screenshot look at this we've got an actual scene maybe one day we'll get the players and stuff in seats now note the number of seats here everyone note the number of seats press conferences aren't always just you on your own anymore no so as it says here you won't want to be sending your assistants to your weekly press conferences in fm21 i mean you've got to convince me there you've got to i'm 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 my assistant does them all the time. This year, we've radically redesigned them from top to bottom. Everything is laid out in a much cleaner way, and the interaction between you and the assembled journalist looks and feels more meaningful and realistic. Yes! Let me... Let it, I need meaning to press conferences, because they just don't feel like they have meaning at the moment. So as it says here, before you head in to face the waiting media, you are given a briefing from your press officer. wonder if that's going to be a new player role. will be interesting to see. It does look like there's kind of a character at the bottom of this screenshot that says press off officer although they do already kind of exist in the game they're just not a fully fleshed out person they're kind of they, they're just there but they they are in the game technically i suppose so as you can see here you'll be given a, a briefing from the press officer um the briefing will list any notable journalists in attendance so if there's a really big honcho from i don't know what's a big goal they're from goal magazine and you're in the fa cup third round as a vanarama national team you might want to answer their question yeah you can see here you have the expected topics of discussion and most important of all any topics that your press officer either wants you to expand upon or avoid that's kind of cool you know if there's a, a player that might be leaving the club maybe you've rejected an offer and he's come out in the media maybe depending on if that player's confrontational or not the press officer might be like maybe we just avoid that completely because this person you know this player has a volatile personality if we talk about him in this press conference it's probably going to blow up down the line i like that in real life you know whilst we like to believe that football managers just do everything on their own they do have press officers who do help them on their way might feel a little bit weird when you're kind of you know playing at sunday league level or in a really lower league team but certainly at the top clubs as much as you might not want to believe it, managers are media trained. They are coerced into saying the right thing. Anyway, you can see here, when you step into the press room, you'll see the journalist displayed on a screen in the form of icons with details of the publications and the sources they represent. Questions will appear as speech bubbles alongside their icons, so it's easy to quickly see who you're talking to and where they come from. Again, I'm hoping that press and the media and the relationship with journalists is just bigger, more meaningful. Let's keep our fingers crossed, shall we? Your press, uh, your press officer will join you in press conferences, chairing the session and deciding which journalists get to ask questions. Your location will be joined by your captain or a team leader. I love that. I love the idea that you can, during a press conference, there'll be questions not directed at you. And I guess depending on, you know, the player that they're asking or the person that's been asked about, how well they handle the media might be a bit different. It might be interesting to see if media handling is a attribute for players this year. That is pure speculation. But that is something that I probably would be the case, I'd imagine, if this exists. But it does seem like it's only going to be around big matches. Um, you can view the body language of those sat alongside you too for an indication of how well everything's going. This feels like I'm going to get stressed in these press conferences. But for the role players amongst you, the people who like to live out their football management fantasies... I'm sure this is all just really, really good news as far, as far as you're concerned. Anyway, press gestures are going to be used in them. We already know about that. You know, it's the, basically, you, you can still say no comment and you can, well, you know, become a media darling. You can be a Jurgen Klopp or you can be, I'm trying to think of someone who doesn't do very well with the media. 
me, me when I send my assistant, I don't do well with the media. Well, you can be me or Jurgen Klopp based on your body language. Anyway, you can see here the journalists have body language as well, which is kind of interesting. Everyone has body language. Not only will you be able to see each individual, each individual journalist's body language, but the addition of the press atmosphere helps you gauge the mood in the room and see the effects of the answers are having. You'll need to give insightful and interesting responses to the questions to keep them engaged and interested. I mean, I like to think I'm engaging and interesting, so that's good for me. Um, we've also improved many aspects uh, and existing elements within press conferences. You'll now be given more contextual information on the topics you're asked about. For example, if you're questioned about an upcoming opponent, you'll be able to see their recent form as well as their league position. Good. Did anyone else have that where the press would ask about the form of the team you were coming up against? So you're thinking, are they first in the form table? I didn't know that. Where are they in the league? Maybe that's just me, but uh, again, you know, give me more information when I need it. That will send sounds very good for me. And at the end of each press conference, you'll receive a summary from your press officer, which will include any notable highlights, changes to relationships uh, with individual journalists based on how they responded. So we are getting relationships with journalists. That's good. That's really, really good. I love that. And feedback from the board on how they feel you handled the discussion. I wonder if the players will do that as well. But that is very cool indeed. Anyway, we've got one last feature here, which is the face-to-face -face conversation. So we've talked about the quick chats. These are the, the serious discussions. Though informal and remote interactions have become more commonplace in the past few years, there are still plenty of occasions when you'll want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with people involved at your club. For example, if you're asking a player to reduce their wage demands, in FM21, these kind of interactions have seen some of the most extensive improvements. For a start, these conversations can now include more than one other person with multiple attendees now present in many interactions let's say you're meeting to discuss the playing time of a first team player who feels like they're not getting enough minutes on the pitch in fm21 they may look to bring in their agent into the meeting with you i'm not i already hate certain players agents this is not i'm I, much like journalists i'm going to start hating more and more agents and that both excites me and slightly scares me Anyway, you can see, you. oh, we, we can get back up though. You can bring in your assistant or a director of football beside you. Good, good. When Tony Adams is my assistant manager, I want him as my right-hand man. He's going to guide me through it. So that's cool. Um, you can now observe how each person in the meeting reacts to conversations through their personal body language displayed in the same way as for, uh, as for journalists in press conferences. Your possible answers will be categorised here too, just like in press conferences to help you find the responses you're looking for quickly. I wonder how they're going to be categorised. I don't think we've had that shown very clearly in a screenshot. Oh, I guess you've got agree, neutral, negative, it looks like. So I guess, I guess if we zoom in here, you can kind of see it. So you have agree, neutral, or negative based on the question. I guess if it's categorised like that, it's a bit better. In previous FMs, you just kind of had a long list of answers. So kind of grouping them up into the maybe the positive ones, the ones that are negative and the player's not going to be happy with, and the neutral ones. That's going to be something that's really good, I think, for new players. I think if you're a more experienced football manager player, at this point you've probably learnt through trial and error which options do and don't work. I would love it if a lot of that kind of muscle memory of what the right thing to say is is kind of wiped clean. That would definitely help it feel a lot fresher and a lot more different. At the end of each of these face-to-face -face interactions, you'll receive a meeting summary from all uh, from the relevant staff member to recap how the meeting went, any actions that have been taken as a result, and any promises you've made over the course of that chat. So that's good. And they also talk about here the 3D backgrounds that have been overhauled uh, slightly and brought in, which are, look really cool this year. They are really, really nice. Um, looking forward to seeing how they get on. Anyway, final word. The new methods of communication and improvements to existing interaction systems within FM21 will truly enhance the immersive experiences of the game. From match days to transfer windows, press conferences to team talks, interactions immerses, uh, interaction immerses you in your FM world and binds you to the people within it. Will you lose the room or play cool? You decide. For more, you can check out the blog. It's, it's down in the description. You, you know that by now. So, general thoughts on the interaction stuff here. Really cool. I, I like the quality of life improvements with a quick chat, the, the ability to get into chats quicker. It's nothing revolutionary. It's not reinventing the wheel. But like I said before, I'm someone who plays hundreds of hours of Football Manager. If it saves me a couple of seconds every time I use it over the entire year, it's a, it's a fantastic change as far as I'm concerned. Um, I really, really like as well the changes to press conferences. Love the idea of having relationships with journalists, positive and negative and really... You know, having a bit 
more, I guess, significance to press conferences. They are the aspect of Football Manager that has not changed in so many years. I have sent my assistant to do them for the past five years. What I would say is, whilst this all sounds fantastic on paper and I'm reading this, and genuinely it makes me really excited because I think it's a really cool addition, the proof is going to be in the pudding when in nine months' time, am I still answering the same questions? Am I still even attending them or am I letting my assistant go? Is there enough variety in them? Is there enough diversity? Do I feel like the actions that I take in a press conference have enough of a reaction? My gut instinct from what they've said here is it is going to have more of an impact. It is going to be more significant. Um, and also the, the kind of press officer guiding you along, I think, is going to make it feel a little less, I don't want to say reading intensive, but basically, you know, maybe you get suggested answers in the same way that your assistant might suggest subs during a game. I think stuff like that, anything that can just speed it up a little bit is quite a nice quality of life thing. And like I said, in real life, managers are media trained. They do have people telling them what to say. So I do really like that as an addition to the game. And regarding the kind of talks, the face to face conversations, I like the idea of agents having a bit more of a a face to things in real world football. I talked about this in my kind of initial reaction to the te the minute long video that Football Manager did. Um, to me, it seems like a really, really good change. I think having agents have a bit more of a role in the game. Agents are earning so much money in real world football. It always felt weird to me that a player would just come to you and chat in Football Manager without any kind of entourage about their lack of first team football. There wouldn't be that serious sit down meeting. I can already envisage situations where a player's looking to try and force a move and they bring their agent in and you're sat there with your director of football or your assistant manager to the side or maybe even the chairman who's promising all this vision stuff for the future. Um, I do feel like it'll be interesting to see if there's any changes to promises because that's something that obviously been in Football Manager and promises do exist in the game but they've not changed in a great deal. Um, I saw that mentioned a little bit in here. Um, I'm sure there are other aspects of interactions that haven't been mentioned here, like promises, um, in too much detail that you guys can think of. So if there's anything here that caught your eye or that hasn't been mentioned here that you're hoping is going to be changed for FM21, I'd be very interested to hear it. Anyway, as I said, this was going to be a long video. I've sat for 22 minutes talking about football manager interactions, but it's just stuff that I'm really, really passionate about. I really, really enjoy reading through this stuff, breaking it down, speculating, talking about how it might expand in future years. The long and short of it is, as I said, I, this all looks great on paper. How is it going to look in nine months? Am I still going to be doing press conferences? I suppose for Sports Interactive's sake, they're going to be hoping it's a big fat yes. For me, looking at it from the outside, I'm... I feel like I need to get my hands on it. And I'm sure many of you kind of feel the same way. And well, I would be very interested to know what you guys made of this on the whole. So do get in the comments. Let me know what you make of the interaction system changes. As I said, over the next couple of days, we're going to have more of these videos breaking down the blog posts, talking about the match day, end of season stuff, recruitment. Towards the end of this week, I want to do a big features roundup video. Um, because over this week and the next couple of weeks, I think um, there's going to be lots of new features just kind of dropped in little snippets here and there so i'd like to do kind of a video that wraps them all together bundles them all up so you can find them all in one place um but yeah for now we're gonna be going through these blog posts and this was the first of four anyway folks that's gonna be all from me today i apologize for the more rambly video i know some of you love to listen to me in the background so if you're one such person you're welcome if you've made it to the end of this video and you're not already subscribed make sure to check out the subscribe but it's big and you can't miss it it's down below Click it with a positive body language and I'm going to leave you with open arms. We'll be back again tomorrow to talk about the match day blog. I hope to see you guys then. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.